I'm joined by Sarah Connolly from Middle Ulster Ladies in Northern Ireland. Sarah, are you looking forward to the tournament and how's your preparation been going? Uh, preparation's been going really well. Um, we went to Wales at the end of August for two uh, friendlies in preparation for this tournament coming up. And we got off to a really good start. We won our first game against Wales 4-2. Um, four, four um, and uh, no, it was, a, it was a good experience, really, really good um, preparation for I believe you, you scored a couple of goals in that game. You want to talk me through the first one? Well, the first one was a bit of a surprise, actually. Um, the ball came across me and uh, I just thumped it, really. <laughs> um, there's not really any other way I could describe that. We didn't even think it was in. Um, and it was just, I think you can see, we just we stood there and we didn't realise it was in until the ref. I looked over at the ref and the ref signalled that it was a goal. So but that, was, that was great. I think you've done yourself a wee bit of this service there, thumping it, but uh, certainly your second goal wasn't a thump, it was very well crafted. Yeah, I think that was one of the, one of the great plays of, of that game. Um, the forwards were linking up really, really well, all of our attacking players, and I got a, a great pass through from Chloe Orr, and um, just waited perfectly, so I just hit it across the, um, across the face of the goal. Okay, Sarah, uh, you've been around the senior squad quite a bit. We've, we've met up on a few occasions. How will you bring that experience to the under-17s this week? Obviously, being with the seniors at, at 15 years old was you know, the highlight of my football and career, um, if you like. So um, the experience was absolutely phenomenal and incredible for me. So I learned a lot, and you're, you, know, you have to learn a lot when you're with the seniors. There's nowhere to hide in it. In a sense, so you, you learn a lot from um, the most experienced players, you know, like Ashley Hutton, Julie Nelson, and you know, Dean Caldwell, Demi Vance, all those ones. And also the, the younger ones like Simone McGill and, and Amy Mackin, you learn a lot from all the players there. And it was great to be able to get the chance to play and travel and train alongside some of the best players our country has to offer. Okay, let's have a wee word about the, the tournament. Austria up first on Saturday. What's your expectations for that? We're expecting a tough game. Um, we know that Austria are going to be a physical side, um, and they're you know we're, we're a year young. Um, we're playing against girls who, who are older than us, and so they're going to be more developed physically. Um, but you know we've got great players, and we've got a really really hungry squad that are, are looking to go. And you know we've qualified the last two two years in a row, so um, it would almost be disappointing not to qualify this year. But we're really looking forward to it. Obviously, it's essential to get um, off to a good start, and we'd love to get three points on Saturday. Okay, brilliant. Listen, you can follow the fortunes of your of your journey on Facebook and Twitter, and I'd like to wish you every success next week in the tournament. Thank you.